Hello everyone. My name is Pallavi and I am going to teach you physics. First of all, welcome to class 6th. Now, your science is no more one subject. It has been divided into three. That is physics, chemistry and bio. In physics, we study about various forms of energy, machines, matter and its properties and other things. In chemistry, you will study about chemicals, metals, non-metals, their reactions and so on. And bio is all about life. You will study about animals, plants, human body and other things. So, let us start with first chapter of physics that is matter. Matter is all around us. Anything which has some mass and it occupies space means it has some volume is known as matter now your book copy bag you me we all are matter now the question is what is matter composed of matter is composed of very very small particles these particles are so small that we cannot see them by naked eyes. We need a microscope to see them. These small particles are known as atoms. You can say that matter is composed of atoms. Matter exists in different states and there are basically five states of matter. Though you will study only about three. So let me tell you these five states of matters. They are solid, liquid, gas, plasma and BEC. BEC stands for Bose-Einstein condensate. Now let us begin with the properties of solid. Solids have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. The intermolecular space between the particles of solid is very very less. Now what do we mean by intermolecular space? Space between two particles is known as intermolecular space. Also, there is a strong force of attraction between particles of solid. Now, what is intermolecular force? There is a force of attraction between two particles. That is natural. So, this force of attraction is maximum in solids. Because of this strong force, solids are rigid. They have fixed volume and fixed shape. And because there is very less space between the particles, it is not easy to compress solids. So, solids are not compressible. For example, a stone. A stone is solid. Stone has its own fixed shape. It is very rigid. It is not easy to compress it. Now, let us discuss properties of liquids. A liquid has a fixed volume, but its shape is not fixed. Liquid takes the shape of the container in which it is poured. Intermolecular force of attraction of particles of liquid is intermediate. It is less than solids but more than gases. And if you talk about intermolecular space, so it is little more than solids but less than liquids. There is enough space between the liquid particles that they can slide over each other. That is why a liquid can flow. Water, diesel, petrol, kerosene, these all are liquids. Now we discuss the properties of gases. A gas has neither fixed shape nor fixed volume. There is maximum intermolecular space between the gas particles and they can move freely. So the force of attraction between the particles of gases is very less. Most of the gases are colorless. We cannot see them though we can feel them. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, these all are gases. If you take an empty glass, there is nothing in it. It doesn't mean it is completely empty. Scientifically, there is air in it and air is mixture of all the gases. So we cannot see air but it doesn't mean that glass is completely empty. As we discussed that particles of gases 
can move freely in any direction. So, if there is any leakage in LPG cylinder, we can smell it. Similarly, if someone has applied DO, you can smell it at some distance. Why? Because gases have a property that they can spread all around. Let us summarize the properties of three states of matter. So, here is the comparison chart. If you talk about shape, solid have a definite shape. Liquids, they don't have a fixed shape. They take the shape of the container in which they are poured in. Gas, they don't have any fixed shape. Now, if you talk about volume, so solid and liquid, they have fixed volume, but volume of gas is not fixed. Interparticle force of attraction. In solids, it is maximum. In liquids, it is intermediate. Less than solids, but more than gases. And in gases, it is negligible. Next criteria is interparticle space. In solids, particles are tightly packed. In liquids, they are loosely packed as compared to solids. And in gases, they are very loosely packed. Next property is compressibility. Solids cannot be compressed, liquids can be compressed a little and gases can be easily compressed. If you talk about flow, solids they cannot flow, liquids can flow from a higher level to a lower level and gases can flow in every possible direction. So this was all about chapter 1. Bye bye. Take care.